what we got here is an I-80 bridge, Xeon processor, 13.4 gigahertz on the core clocks, and the boost is 3.8, four cores, eight threads, R9 380 <coughs> Sapphire, four gigabytes uh, graphics card, an XP Sound Blaster card, and add in USB 3.0 card. And this is the, I got Windows 11 on it. All the drivers work. Nothing too fancy. All right. Um, it's about the. Let's see here. Closer. Yeah, it's a E3 1245B2 3.4. Only 8 gigs of RAM because this got a limitation of only 8 gigs of RAM on the motherboard. Not try 16, you won't take it. It's also, it's, I got Windows Activator using Windows T, a 10 key pro. But for some reason it comes up as um, Enterprise, but that's okay. It's still activated. It's fully updatable. Here's the build number, Windows Features Experience Pack number. Activation state active. All right, yeah, there we go. About 11 year old uh, CPU run in here. R9 380 graphics card with a SSD a SATA 480 gigabytes. So now I've got USB 3.0 ports in front and two in the back. Everything's working. I already gamed on it. Uh, World of Warcraft and Battle.net. Uh, Heartstone and stuff like that it runs actually smoother than Windows 10. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.